Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. This time we're going to do Tori Kelly's Coffee. The good thing about this song is it's not really uh, difficult because it only consists of about three to four chords all in all. Okay, so let's get down to the tutorial. Okay, so uh, we're gonna divide the song into three sections, not three parts, but three sections. First section, I will teach you on how to play the verse part. Verse one and two are basically the same. And then um, the second section would be about the bridge. And third part will be, the sorry, the third section will be about uh, the ref. Okay, so let's start with the first section, which is the verses. Okay, so this is how you play the verse. I'm gonna play the whole verse uh, before I get down to the uh, tutorial. Okay, so the whole song is actually played in the key of E, so this will be the first key. It's actually a C sharp minor, minor 7. Okay, but um, yeah, the way we're gonna do the C sharp minor is this. Put your uh, ring finger on the 5th um, string, 4th fret, your point finger on the fourth string, second fret, right there. Then you put your pinky on the third string, fourth fret. Okay? You're only gonna be plucking the strings that you're actually pressing. So only the three strings, which is string number five, four, and three. Okay? Five, four, and three. Okay? The strumming pattern, okay. The strumming pattern will be like this. So string number five, four, and three. Here's the pattern. Five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three. Okay, you keep practicing that until you get it right. Okay? So that's the first chord and the plucking pattern will stay the same throughout the verses, okay? So, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, five, and so on, okay? First chord, and then second chord will be a B, like a power chord. Okay, so you put your uh, point finger on the B bass, which is the fifth string, second fret, your ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, your pinky on the third string, fourth frets as well. So only these three strings. Five, four, three. And the ones that you'll be plucking are strings five, four, three, with the same pattern. Five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, five. Keep going, okay? So first chord. Then third chord, 
there's a slight change here. So you put your point finger on the F sharp bass, which is the sixth string, second fret, right there. And then you put your um, um, ring finger on the fifth string, fourth fret, your pinky on the fourth string, fourth fret, and then your middle finger on the third string, third string, third fret. Okay, right there. Now, the plucking pattern will stay the same, but instead of doing five, four, three, now you're doing six, four, three, okay? So, Okay, so all together. Okay, and then you repeat that four times, and that's the verse. So I could not sing and pluck the strings the way I did at the same time, so that's just an idea for you, so. Okay. Okay, so that's the uh, first section, which is the verse, and then here comes uh, the second section, which is the bridge part. And you go to the rough part. So the chords are, I just do a simple A, an A sus. Okay, you put your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, followed by your uh, ring finger on the third string, second frets as well, and then you just strum it. Okay, so from the A bass, string number five, and then you go to that B I taught you for the verse. Okay, you put your point finger on the B bass, middle, uh, sorry, ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret, pinky on the third string, fourth fret, and they're all open string. Okay, strum it all together. And then you go to that uh, F sharp thingy, okay? The same chord uh, in the verse. Okay? Point finger on the 6th string, 2nd fret. Middle finger on the 3rd string, 3rd fret. Ring finger on the 5th string, 4th fret. Pinky on the 4th string, 4th fret as well. And then open string, string 1, string 2. Okay, bridge. B. Repeat one more time. Okay, so that's the second section. Now comes the third section, which is the chorus part. Okay, so you're not going to learn much here, but uh, just the strumming pattern of the right hand because the chords are all the same as the verses. Now, still remember the first chord, this chord. Okay, so actually you're just, just going to strum it. But here's the thing, because this is a C sharp chord, so make sure that you mute the sixth string. What I do is I just put the tip of my uh, ring finger just slightly touching the sixth string so it doesn't make a sound when I strum it instead of going okay I just put the tip of my uh, ring finger here just slightly touching the sixth string so it doesn't ring 
Okay, the strumming pattern will be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Throughout the chorus part, okay. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay, I'm going to play the chorus part for you. The very same chords as the, um, the verse part. Since you're strumming all the strings, make sure that the sixth string doesn't ring on the first chord. And then same thing on the B part. Since you're strumming them all, make sure that you mute you mute the sixth string with the tip of your uh, point finger, just slightly touching the sixth string so it doesn't make a sound. And then third chord, you just strum them all. Strum them all. Okay, so uh, starting from uh, the very first part. We're just going to jump to the bridge part. Okay, so that's basically it for today. It's not a very difficult song, it's just I have a lot of problems like singing and playing guitar at the same time, so pardon my voice. <laughs> and um, yeah, so please do practice your right hand, especially the uh, verse part and the strumming pattern of the chorus part. Okay, everything else is just gonna come in time. And um, yeah, so please do hit that like button if you like this video and if you're into tutorials like this, please do subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Okay? Again, have a nice weekend. See ya!